Good afternoon and good evening to you. My name is Pontus Berg and I'm Executive Vice President, Technical and Operations at BWLPG. My thanks to DMV for the opportunity to speak at this conference. The shipping industry is at a crossroads. We are facing changing and increasingly stringent regulations, rapidly advancing technology and immense pressure from green lobby groups, legislators and lenders. Ship owners must plan our next steps carefully. Our decisions must not only cater to short-term market demands, but also accommodate long-term developments in technology and regulations. At BWLPG, our strategy has been to optimize our assets and maximize their use. One way we are doing so is by retrofitting our VLGCs with LPG propulsion, so that our ships can run on cleaner burning LPG as a fuel. Today, let me share why LPG as a marine fuel makes sense, especially from the environmental perspective. I will also discuss learnings as an early adopter of LPG propulsion technology. Shipping's fuel of the future must produce much lower or zero emissions, have enough energy content and be storable, transportable and affordable. The main candidates for consideration that the media reports most frequently on include ammonia, hydrogen and methanol. All of these have advantages and disadvantages. For example, hydrogen is powerful enough to send rockets into space but it's also very explosive and must be stored under high pressure and extreme cryogenic conditions. Also, green or blue hydrogen, as well as ammonia, is currently too costly to be a viable source of alternative fuel. And the technology needed to propel large ships with ammonia or hydrogen is not yet available. With human ingenuity and global cooperation, I'm confident that we will see progress on the technology front, but it will take some time before we are there. And as technology progresses, over time regulation also change. The IMO is facing pressure to regulate from a well-to-wake basis rather than the current tank-to-wake basis. This means that the life cycle analysis of a drop of fuel must be considered. A readily available fuel that produces lower emissions, have enough power to propel our vessels, is storable, transportable and affordable and helps us decarbonize meaningfully even from a well-to-wake basis, is LPG. Together with DMV, Virtual Gas, MENES, we have pioneered the technology needed to power ships with LPG. The chart on this slide is from the Research Council of Norway, SINTEF. You will note that with LPG, we benefit from a 17% decline in CO2 emission versus MGO. This is from a well-to-wake basis. And LPG is propane or butane, or a mix of the two, there is no uncombusted methane or even any methane slip to discuss as it simply isn't present in the fuel. In the LPG VLGC shipping segment, almost all new buildings are on LPG propulsion. BWLPG has no new building orders, but we will have the largest fleet of LPG propelled vessels ready next year. We have committed to retrofit 15 of our ships with LPG propulsion. This is an upfront investment of $130 million by BWLPG which remains the sector's single largest investment towards decarbonization. Let me talk a little about the tech behind LPG propulsion. First, we bunker LPG simultaneously as we load cargo, saving cost, time and minimizing risk of bunker spills. If needed, we can also replenish the LPG deck fuel tanks via the cargo pumps from the cargo tanks if we have our own cargo heel or bunker available. LPG is drawn from these tanks into the fuel gas supply system and piped to the engine as a liquid. A small amount of compliant pilot fuel, such as VLSFO or MGO, is injected into the engine as the piston nears the top, and liquid LPG is injected under high pressure, where it ignites and LPG burns to create propulsive force. These LPG dual fuel engines will reduce emission of sulfur oxides by about 97%, particulate matters by about 90%, carbon dioxide and nitrous oxides by 20% each. Apart from these environmental advantages, we also benefit operationally and commercially. For example, LPG propulsion improves total voyage fuel economics. LPG have about 10% higher calorific value than traditional liquid shipping fuels, and hence lower metric ton consumption per day. With LPG, we eliminate bunker quality issues and spill risks. And with dual fuel capability, we have fuel flexibility, which translates to full redundancy to ensure uninterrupted operation and buffering from fuel price sensitivities. Let me now move on to talk about our operational learnings. 
We are now more than halfway through our retrofitting program. With 10 LPG powered vessels on the water, two at the yard and three more to go. Since the re-delivery of our first LPG powered vessel, the BW Gemini in November 2020, we demonstrate that shipping is ready for LPG as a mainstream marine fuel. With almost a dozen retrofits under our belt, we have not had any major surprises. This is thanks in part to our very rigorous testing of our prototype, but mostly because our talented, experienced and dedicated project and site team. Our team has had to manage quality concerns from main and sub suppliers, but overall we have had good experiences. Special thanks to Yuli and Dockyard and their flexibility and patience, and to Vatchle and MANES for partnering with us in this pioneering project. And of course, DMV, Isle of Man and Martian Island Flag State and many others for all their support. While we have not experienced major technical hiccups, we have learned valuable practical lessons. For example, we now know the importance of having appropriate filters that can manage organic materials in the LPG bunker supply. Operations can be very challenging with COVID-19 restrictions, but it is important that we train our crew on new technology. We were also facing challenges from uncertain berthing schedules for discharge the heel before retrofitting or to gas up before sea and gas trials. We took an innovative approach to an established maritime practice of ship-to-ship -ship transfer and applied the same technique to conduct STS of LPG as bunker fuel out at sea. Having our very own LPG bunker ship standing by continues to give us precious control over project timeline and ensure that we do not need to stress out about selling heel or finding terminal slots for gas up partials for sea trial on LPG fuel. We are grateful to have the support of BW Epic Osan for the charter of their LPG carrier Epic San Martin for this dedicated purpose. By far what has been the most challenging for us has been the impact of COVID-19 on the movement of people and parts. We have spent over 14,000 hours in quarantine. Crew are confined to the vessel and yard with no shore leaves. And we had to manage delayed deliveries of critical spare parts. Thankfully, we have kept such impact to a minimum with a lot of collaboration and innovative thinking from our site team and partners. At BW, we are delivering energy the world needs today while finding solutions for tomorrow. LPG makes so much sense as a cleaner burning fuel that is available now. The LGIP technology we have pioneered is a necessary and complementary step towards zero carbon propulsion. The LGI technology is also the base or foundation, if you like, for being able to burn ammonia in large two-stroke engines, LGIA. We continue to explore all available options as we think about the long term. We have an ongoing project called Next Generation VLGC and Organization. This includes reviewing developments in alternative fuels such as ammonia and considering alternative technologies such as carbon capture on board. And how does the support organization ashore look like in the future? Having such discussions on alternative fuels are useful and help us make better decisions for our stakeholders. I'd recommend anyone keen on more info on the LGIP conversions to have a look at our webpage, bwlpg.com, where we have a good amount of info and statistics on same. Thank you very much for having me.